Welcome to Roselock, a series where I play Pokemon ROM hacks with some Nuzlocke settings. Most of the rules are down below, some of them I still tell you on the go, they'll be added into later seasons, so I can tell you probably even more that are in there. And this will also become known as what we consider the stupidest Nuzlocke anybody could do, a Roselock. As always, I'm your host, Ori Moon Rose, and today we'll be continuing what is the fifth attempt at what is considered the hardest Pokemon ROM hack game to Nuzlocke, Pokemon Dark Rising. So we made a little progress inside Water's Cavern, unfortunately Clover gained a level. And due to one of the Roselock rules, when somebody gains a level, they all have to gain a level. They have to always be equal. So today we're gonna do Vapor and hopefully Artemis! Yes! Give it about two, three episodes before we get to continue. Inside Water's Cavern. So unfortunately, we missed out on actually getting further, but we got pretty far in Water's Cavern actually last time, so kind of really happy there. Yeah, look at that. Be nice when we actually get to continue. Again. Body slams and then we'll see if flamethrower can do anything. If if not, we'll have to go rest and get uh, body slam healed back up too. At least be able to get two levels. Hopefully three if we're really doing good. Hard to say. Try to remember that at the end of this episode. Depending on how long it's been. And if I can honestly remember. Aww. Poor they forgot to be slapped a few times. Oof. Uh... Yeah, 
uh, Vapor isn't doing too bad at his level game. But again, anything's kind of faster than uh, Flipper. Other than maybe Tentacruel. Tentacruel might have a long experience gain for some weird odd reason. Maybe we can gain uh, Muffin to level today, too! I mean, it's still very iffy, but you never know, right? Slams bought up, and I don't know how flamethrower is gonna run. We're in a cave. And it's raining. But hey, we got two more body slams, so that's good.
Oh yeah, that's gonna work. Wide. Uh, oh. I don't trust that one, so we won't play thrower again. Well, I suppose if anything makes us go back, it's gonna be that. Oh good, Shellos 2.0. One more water pulse? Unless I hit myself, then it might have murdered me, but... Alright, well that sucks. It's definitely gonna put us behind, but if I only gain two levels, that's fine. Still better than one.
trying to think there's not a Moonstone in here, though. I felt like we would have run into it already. Like, I feel like we found it on the first floor in the original, but maybe I'm wrong. Might not even be a Moonstone, either.
pursuit? I mean, I, I guess that worked, but... Wouldn't it just be great if I gained a level in 23 minutes? It'd be a longer episode, that's for sure. He would destroy everything. I don't think I'm gonna gain a level before 24 minutes, right? I mean, I'm starting to question it. I mean, Artemis, can you? Huh. Cutting it very close, I tell you what. I think we're gonna gain the level before 24 minutes. We get a polywag, which we did not. Screw level 45, 3, 0, 1, 2, 2, 3. I mean, it's before 24 minutes, so, um... I'm counting it as a level. It's gonna be a longer episode again, guys. But we'll be one step closer. I guess.
goodness gracious. Please just fall, Mr. Squirtle. And I got crunch. So I still think we might be good. and we'll be able to continue inside Waters Cavern again. I don't know. 
how long, but, you know, it's, it's there. Boy, it's so much faster when I just have to gain them one level than level them up all the way. 